This man visited today? That's right. Did he sign in? I don't think so. It isn't required. How old is he? A little younger than you. Dirty blonde hair. Shifty blue eyes. Yes, you could say that. But he seemed nice to me. He's a slime ball. And he obviously cares very deeply about Laura. Yeah, he would say that. Then you know him. Oh, yeah. I know him. Well, the doctors were afraid that the shock of remembering how Rick Weber really died would cause Laura to relapse even sooner. And Luke wanted every day to be perfect because we had so few. And so he invented this cover story about how Rick Weber really died in a car accident. So he just, just lied to her, huh? That's, well, that's, that's great. Scott, he was trying to protect her. But it didn't work because she went back to the attic. And Luke followed her there, and with his help and his support, she remembered killing Rick Weber. Well, that must have been horrible for her. But you know what? She finally realized that it was a terrible accident, and actually, realizing what really happened freed her in a way, and she was able to enjoy the time she had left with her family. Curious. Why'd you try to stop her from hitting the silence alarm? We don't need the police. You guys got into the vault? You'll be fine if you get away now. There's the briefcase. It's in the vault. The door started closing. I thought three was right behind me. You left the briefcase in the vault? What about Maxie? She's in there with three. And the briefcase, you idiot! You won't be able to get into the vault for the next 12 hours. Things are about to go seriously wrong. You still got time to cut your losses. But you're gonna have to leave now. You know you hear somebody could get killed. Get take and bake pizzas from Walmart's deli section and be everyone's hero. Kick off the best game time party ever with a 16-inch bake up fresh in your oven extra large cheese or pepperoni pizza to $6.98 in the deli section at Walmart. For fast heartburn relief, Harry and Mike do things very differently. You're just as impatient as I am. Oh, trying to be discreet. I'm not going to take you on a couple of tests, so... I love you. Feel free to tell me as often as you like. Yeah? This feeling's mutual. You have an intracranial bleed. I need to operate immediately. How long will I be unconscious? Anywhere from four to 24 hours. Oh, that's too long. I'll have to do this tomorrow afternoon. Not an option. Blood is leaking into your brain. That headache you feel right now is nothing compared to what will happen next. You'll feel like your head is exploding, and it will be from the inside. You'll have a grand mal seizure, and that'll be that. The moment if you're here in the middle of some business deal, you'll be dead. And you have no choice. Mr. Alcazar, if I don't operate immediately, you will not make it through the night. I'm going to give you one last chance to walk away. Sky, you can take Lila, you can go to Switzerland. There's money waiting for you there. You will have a good life. No. Not without you. We are in this together. Do you hear me? All the way. That you mean that. Because once I bring you into the steel, there's no turning back. 
Someone broke into the vault. They triggered a call to us. Yeah, the windows are painted over, okay? The place is locked down. I saw a man in ski mask carrying automatic weapons. And I think they're holding the hostages in the lobby. Elizabeth was supposed to meet me in the lobby, and so were Nicholas and Emily. Sam is in there. What about Lulu? I, I didn't see her. There's a big charity fundraiser in there tonight. We could be dealing with hundreds of people. Max is working. Robin just booked okay. a room at the Metro Court. These people are professional, okay? They want what's in the vault. There's hostages. Just let them get it and get them out Don't of there. Don't worry. We have a strong protocol for a hostage takeover. We're not going to go rushing into anything. All right, listen up, you guys. Listen. Spinelli, okay, look, I need you to meet me across from the Metro Court Hotel. No, right now, okay? Bring your laptop. I need information. Okay, look, we're going to be stuck in here for God knows how long, hours, maybe days, and if you shoot me, think of the mess that's going to make. It, it'll be gross, and the smell, unless it's what you're thinking, smell, air, oxygen, you're going to shoot me so you can have all the oxygen. That's your plan, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to breathe as much as I want, because why should you get any extra oxygen out of this plant? And if you want to be stuck in the vault with the corpse of an innocent young woman, then fine, go ahead, fine, shoot me. This vault runs on a closed air circulation system. We won't run out of air. Oh. Well, what if the bullet ricochets off the ceiling and goes from wall to wall to wall and hits you right in between the eyes? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That could happen. Yeah, on a cartoon. Okay, well, we're not in a cartoon, and I don't want to be stuck in a vault with a corpse any more than you do. I don't want to die. Especially not like this. Not like anyone outside was lining up to save me in case you didn't notice, but nobody wants to die with a stranger. And for what? Whatever's in that stupid briefcase? You came after the briefcase. That didn't work out. You got a chance to get away, but you got to leave now. I don't think anybody wants a hostage situation. Especially since the vault won't open for another 12 hours. That's a long time to hold, hold off the cops. I don't think you want to attract that kind of attention, do you? I promise you we won't press any charges. So I'm thinking maybe you leave here in a body bag or, uh... You and your people can slip out the service entrance through the docks and... I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll even volunteer to be your hostage. But you gotta leave now. Are you going to tell me that whatever's in that briefcase is worth you dying? Excuse me. forget my first visit to the Werther's Caramel Shop. Delicious caramels everywhere. There were soft ones